Hey guys, welcome to this video on the C programming language. So in this video, we basically want to write a program that takes in a word and returns that word without the vowels. So I'm going to start off by writing a description of what this program does. So again, this program takes in a word and returns that word without the vowels. And vowels are a e i o u and sometimes y all right now let's give an example of how this program is going to work so we're going to take in some input something like hello a word and then of course we're going to have some output and the output is going to be that word, but without the vowels. So without the E and the O. So H, L, L. All right, so let's go ahead and get started here. First thing we're going to do is use a library. So we're going to include stdio.h. And I'm going to create my main function. And it's going to return zero. All right. And what I'm going to do is I need a function um, that will tell us when we hit a vowel, if we loop through the word letter by letter. So I'm going to create a function. And it's going to be an integer function. So it's going to return 1 or 0, something like that, to tell us if we have a vowel in there or not. And I'm going to call the function is a vowel okay and it's going to take in a character we're a character we're going to give it with the variable c um, and that looks good so i'm just going to copy this here and let's actually start uh, creating our function down below here so because i made it an integer it needs to return something so it's going to return zero for now and Again, this function will return 1 if the character is a vowel and 0 otherwise. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and create our array of vowels. So it's going to be a character array. I'm going to call it R, A R R. And it's going to hold a, it's going to hold E, I, O, U, and of course, sometimes Y. Okay. And then we want the size of the array. So I'm just going to call it uh, size. And the size of the array is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it's six. All right. So now what we want to do is we want to loop through our array of vowels and see if that character that we take in as a parameter is any of those vowels. So I'm going to need a variable to help me loop through the for loop. Of course, we usually use i for index. And let's go ahead and write our for loop. So for i equals 0, i is going to be less than the size. And then we're going to increment i by 1 each time. OK. Now, if the character is one of the characters in the array at index i, then we need to exit the function and return 1. So I'll write that here. If the character is one of the characters in the array at index i, then exit the function and return 1. All right. So yeah, we're going to return 1 in this case and not 0. All right, so let's write our if statement. So if C, which is our character that 
that came in our parameter here into our function, if it equals the character in the array at position i, then we have found a vowel. And what we can do now is return 1. And 1 basically tells us that we found a vowel. All right, so that should do it for our is a vowel function. Now let's finish writing our program here. So I'm going to create a character array or a string. And this will be our word. And maybe we'll call it hello, like our example. And then we need, of course, the size of our string. And so the size is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. And we're going to loop through this string. So we're going to also need another variable like i. And let's go ahead and start our loop. So for i equals 0, while i is less than the size, i is going to increment by 1 each time. Now within here, uh, we're going to have our if statement. Uh, actually, you know, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to print out each letter of the word. So this is should print out each letter of the word. And let's give this a run and see if uh, our program is syntactically correct and, um, and if it'll run properly like we expect. All right, so it should be starting up here. And all right, perfect. So we see that it prints hello. It might be hard for you guys to see here, but uh, it's definitely there. Hello. All right, so we're going to exit that. Now, we don't want to print those vowels. So we're going to use this function here to make sure that we don't print those vowels. So if is a vowel at position i of word, if it um, equals 0, then we can go into our if statement and we can print that character. Now, of course, if it equals 1, then we know that it's a vowel because that's how our function works. So let's go ahead and run this. And perfect. We see that we get H L L. Let's try a different word. So let's try uh, Bitcoin. Seems pretty popular right now. So Bitcoin has length of seven because it has seven characters. And we're expecting it to return B T C and then N. So let's run this. And let's see if we get that. Oh, perfect. So we get B, T, C, and N. All right. So that's basically it, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave any questions you have, likes, and comments. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll be sure to have this code in the description below on my GitHub. It's going to be a link to my GitHub so you guys can download it yourself. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see you all in the next video.